talked a bit about love, but let, let me. It's it's fun to ask somebody like you who uh, can effectively, from at least neuroscience perspective, disassemble some of these romantic notions. But what do you make of romantic love? Why why do human beings seem to fall in love? At least at least a bunch of '80s hair bands have written about it. Uh, right, is that a nice feature to have? Is that a bug? What is it? Well, I, I'm really happy that I <laughs> fell in love. I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, but I would say- uh, Is that you, the person speaking, or the neuroscientist? <laughs> uh, well, I me, that's me, the person speaking. Yeah. But uh, I would say, as a neuroscientist, babies are born not able to regulate their own body budgets because their brains aren't fully wired yet. When you feed a baby, when you cuddle a baby, when you, everything you do with a baby impacts that baby's body budget and helps to wire that baby's body budget, um, helps to wire that baby's brain to manage eventually her own body budget to some extent. That's the basis biologically of attachment. Humans evolved as a species to be socially dependent, meaning you cannot manage your body budget on your own without a tax that eventually you pay many years later in terms of some metabolic illness, right? Loneliness, when you break up with someone that you love or you lose them, right? It, you feel like it's gonna kill you, but it doesn't. But loneliness will kill you it will kill you approximately, you know, what is it, seven years earlier? Or I can't remember exactly the exact number. It's it's actually in the web notes to um, seven and a half lessons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, it, social isolation and loneliness will kill you earlier than you would otherwise die. And the reason why is that you're not you didn't evolve to manage your nervous system on your own. And when you do, you pay a little tax, and that tax accrues very slightly over time, over a long period of time, so that by the time you're in, you know, middle-aged or a little older, you are more likely to die sooner from some metabolic illness, from heart disease, from diabetes, from depression. Um, you're more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. I mean, it's the, it, you know, it takes a long time for that tax to accrue, um, but it does. So yes, I think it's a good thing for people to, um, to fall in love. But I think the the funny view of it is that uh, it's clear that humans need the social attachment to uh, what is it manage their nervous system as 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 you're describing, and the reason you want to stay with somebody for a long time is so you don't have is the novelty is very costly for uh, for our, well now, for you're mixing, now you're mixing now you're mixing thing now you're you know <laughs> no you have to decide yeah, whether. Yeah. But I, what I would say is when you lose someone you love, yeah. you um, it feels like you've lost a part of you. And that's because you have. You've lost someone who was contributing to your body budget. We are the caretakers of one another's nervous systems, like it or not. And um, out of that comes very deep feelings of attachment, some of which are romantic love. <laughs> 